how are the safeties looking to you right now? Uh, I've been very happy with the progress on a couple things is is that uh, durability has been great. You know, like that we've had guys that have been out there for every practice and that adds up when you have guys that are at practice every day. So I've been really excited about that. Um, you know, uh, Saquon Hampton, you know, really did a great job last year. You know, we lose him, you know, I think second quarter, you know, of the Washington game. And then he came back because he's so tough and played. But, uh, but uh, to have him back in healthy and safety has, has really meant a lot to us. So I'm very excited about him right there. Uh, uh, Kai's had a great spring. Uh, and then obviously the two young guys uh, with, uh, with KJ Gray uh, at that and uh, Lawrence Stevens, we call him Larry. But uh, uh, th those guys have had really, really good, good springs with that. And then uh, McDuffie's also done a really good job for us. But I'm, I'm happy with the progress just because we're just so f much further along than we were last year at this time. You mentioned the secondary safeties. If I throw in Bless and Wharton, those four guys have 64 career starts between them. Yeah, and it shows up in the spring. It really does just because of maturity. Uh, obviously, the skill sets that they have are very high, uh, which is, you know, like I said, we made you know a lot of improvements last year. Uh, we expect a lot more from them this year. But as an entire group, you know, I'm, I'm extremely happy uh, with those guys and, and, and where they're at. They've, they, and again, durability's been a lot too. Those other corners also, they've been out here for every snap like that. And we're a little, little, little low on numbers, but they've done a great job. When you know, has KJ been uh, progressing you know, from last year? What have you seen out of him? Uh, the most thing he's been has been maturity. Uh, just in, 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 in all walks of life and everything he's doing, he's, he's really done a great job. Not like there was ever issues, but just you know, it's a change from being a true freshman to now he's still a freshman, but he's just been around us so much longer, he knows what to expect. Uh, he's really attached himself with a bunch of good leaders, the older guys, and so he has some things figured out that way. And his mental approach to the game is so different. He was one of those young men that was very talented, kind of counted on his talent to do it, and now he is, uh, understands how important uh, the mental part of it is with him. You, you referenced before that uh, Saquon got hurt, obviously, in the first half of the opener. Did that kind of maybe hamper him the whole year? I mean, would we not maybe see the best of him? Because oh, of it ridiculously hampered him. I mean, it would, I, I, I appreciate how tough he was. I mean, he basically played with one arm, you know. He probably, by the Maryland game, was probably up a, you know another 15 20%. But he came back, and we had him, you know, strapped up and stuff. To, uh, what he had to do with that. So, oh, we haven't even come close to seeing right there. We, you know, we knew what his talent level was uh, going into the season. Expected a great season, but then you, you go from that to not practicing for six or seven weeks, you know, and coming back right there. And but he's such a tough kid. But uh, yeah, I, I'm very, very impressed with where where he's headed. We talk. Uh to guys on both sides of the ball, and one thing they've said is a lot of hands on the ball from the secondary this, this spring, a lot of turnovers forced. Is that can that carry over to the season? Is that something you guys need to do? Force more. Turnovers? Sure. I mean, I mean, it's one of those situations where you have to be cautious in some some aspects as far as like you know sometimes you you know say you know we got to get the ball. Well, sometimes it, it has to all work within the scheme work of the defense too. But what we can do is have relentless effort and strain to the ball for chances for strip attempts on, on balls, and also get you closer to balls for tip balls if it's making tip ball interceptions we talk about a lot uh, to be able to get to but I, again those guys have been the, the strain to the ball has been very very good for you you got a promotion to co-defensive coordinator anything changed for you what does that mean what i uh, know i mean i mean not really like that you know like, like i said uh uh, we have a great staff right there. You know, Coach Neiman is still the, is still the coordinator. Uh, it doesn't really change a lot. We we probably move a few things around differently uh, each year, but that's just that's just normal uh, progression of the defense uh, type of thing. So, uh, you know, like I said, uh, I, I kind of oversee the entire secondary. Uh, Coach Baker is just doing an unbelievable job with the corners for us right now. So, uh, but uh, but it was nice. I you know I, I appreciate that uh, Coach Ash doing that for me. So you, you talked about being low on numbers right now in practice, but you're getting a lot of DBs coming in this summer. What are you expecting from those guys early on? A lot. I mean, right from the get-go. I mean, those we've had some guys that have been able to come and watch practice uh, and be around a little bit of that, but they'll get a lot of reps right from the start. You know, where it's different now is that we're going to have a you know, with, with them being here, you know, for the summer and to what, how we can prepare them, uh, how we can have video teaching uh, things for them to be able to get them prepared more mentally also, because it's not just the physical part. They'll struggle a little bit physically when they first get in, and they'll, they'll catch up to that. Then they'll figure out how, how much the mental part kicks in. Uh, but, but those guys, yeah, we're going to lean on them pretty heavy right away uh, and, and get them in there and get them reps. What do you think it means, especially since one of them is a safety, to have two Rutgers alumni coming back to coach the spring game in Sanu and Harmon? Oh, I think it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's awesome to have those guys around. Uh, there's nothing more important, uh, you know, than the people in, when they played here in the past. 
you know, there's been a lot of good success here uh, in the past, and, and, and a lot of guys that have had great careers here. And the thing that jumps out the most when I've had a chance to talk a lot of the alumni and former players is how much they love the place. It wasn't a place where well, I came here, I went to school here. I'm out. They, they come back. And so we're very, very excited of it. We're very respectful of it uh, as a staff and as a unit, as far as our DB unit, uh, that, that we're very, very respectful of that. And we talk about them a lot we, 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 in meetings. We talk about the past. We talk about those guys that played, you know, in Super Bowls this year. We, t we do have all those conversations, so it's very, very important to us. Is it good for those guys, to, for your guys, to look up to that, you know, Patriots Oh, absolutely. Trio? Yeah, anytime you see those guys like that, it's always good to, to look up because they also do things right, you know, on and off the field in all aspects right there. So very, very excited about having them. And then we just love to be honest with you, love to have them around more. Love to have them here all the time. So they're, 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 they're great guys to have around, and we got such respect for them. Mm -hmm.